Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about ADA. ADA um, yeah, reacted to the micro support zone here, the upper micro support. As per the last update and last videos, we have two support zones on the chart, and they both are providing a buffer um, for the price, you know, and they stand between the price and new lows, new lows below the 5th of August low. Yeah? And the upper support area is defined between 33 cents and 32.4, and the lower support area between 31.3 cents and 29 cents. And if even if we break below the upper one, the lower one could still provide some support um, in a, in a one-two setup. Yeah? So the really we can keep it quite simple and can say the main risk is at the 29 cent level because we have to consider that the price might even in a bullish scenario drop down to 29 cents not necessarily but this is purely the risk level okay so it's not a prediction to say the price will go down to that level but that we have to consider that in the yellow wave count which is still bullish but allows for a larger one two setup let me show you wave one and then A, B, C in wave two, that the price might at least test the lower support region. For now, the main reason why I'm saying that is the price is now in a resistance area, which I added earlier today to the chart. It's defined between 34 cents and 36.6 cents. So that's the resistance area. Um, the price is in the resistance area. That means we haven't broken above it. And that means we haven't, um, let's say, ruled out the yellow wave count. And in addition to that, the reaction from the low, yeah, the reaction from the low here is just too weak. You see how choppy it is? It is very much what we call corrective price action. And B waves are corrective rallies. And therefore, the yellow wave count seems to be at least plausible, seems to be reasonable to assume that a C wave down is still gonna happen. However, um, we know that in the orange wave count, a more directly bullish scenario is possible. That's why we have the upper support region, which supports the orange wave count. We have not broken below that level, which means this is also plausible, but it basically takes a break above 36.6 cents to confirm that. Um, why? Because a high B wave, as per the yellow wave count, will only be come far less likely with a break above that 36.6 cent level. We know that B waves can overshoot and price action from that low really looks corrective. But overall, with these two scenarios, regardless of which one it is, we're looking for higher prices against the 29 cent level. It is, however, a very fragile structure and that is not really a structure I'm currently confident in. What we really need to see in order to confirm not just track, but to confirm that on the 5th of August, a substantial low has formed in this larger wave two correction that started in March. Well, we need this wave one, wave two, whether it's going a little lower or not. As long as we're holding 29 cents, we can watch for a third wave. We need that to target round about 42 and a half cents or higher then a wave four and a wave five. And that is then a pattern that we can call a first diagonal pattern or an impulse, depending on how it's developing. This would be a wave one, and then we can add the next support zone for wave two, which could at the same time be a trade setup, but also it would be further confirmation that wave two has bottomed on the 5th of August. So the larger wave two, and then we could be in wave three in the larger wave three, which again is a five wave move. The wave one is the signal that the wave three has started and the wave two pullback will be the next pullback entry point and so on. So this is what we're tracking. That means the 36.6 cent level is key resistance level. And to the downside, we've got the 32.4 and 29 cent levels as support. That's the update about ADA. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.